feet live or in South by Southwest, Austin, Texas, Sony City, here at Six Lounge. I'd like to thank Sony and also Gentleman Jack for helping make this happen. Uh, my name is Kyle Meredith and I'm here with Chris and Stephanie from Big Harp. Welcome. Uh, hi, thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, you guys uh, have been having a great year so far. Your second album, Chain Letters, yeah. just released like what, a couple months ago? Yeah, January 22nd. Yeah. Well, it's great. Uh, it instantly, uh, and I mean this, became one of my favorite albums of the year. Oh, thanks. thanks. There's something about it, the songwriting and that sound that's so hard to kind of explain, almost that gothic dust bowl sound. Oh, I, how did you come up with, and that's an odd question to ask any band, but how did you come up with the sound to this? Because it's not normal. Yeah. Really, a, a lot of it was uh, Steph. We we just we went and bought her a bunch of pedals, and then we just kind of wrote, <laughs> wrote the songs around the pedals she bought. <laughs> We were just playing like kids, you know, like playing yeah. sounds and... Her hold up in her parents' guest bedroom, just kind of with our amps turned all the way up. Let's see what happens. There's so many, you know, different things about your relationship, by the way. Chris and Stephanie are married. Uh, that's been one of your big hooks. I know a great NPR story just came out about this, too. And seems to be one of the, the kind of the... Uh, I don't want to say the anchor is to, to how you guys go about your career, but it kind of is an anchor about how you guys go about your yeah. career. There are kids involved. Yeah. 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 Right? yeah they're, they're not here, but they always tour with us. This is the first time they've been yeah. with us. Yeah. Yeah. And how does that happen? Because you guys, uh, I guess there has to be a lot of extra planning going when you're thinking about yeah, the kids sure. are going on tour with us too. For sure. Yeah, there is. It's a little, it's a little more complicated. But you gotta leave at like six in the morning because you gotta be prepared to stop twelve times, fourteen times, you know, however many times. Yeah. The kid needs to stretch out. Or although w when we first started doing it, we we tried to like plan out a, a stop every two hours or so, and then after like by the end of the first tour, we were just doing twelve-hour drives with them, just like like the, like they were like they were adults. Basically, they get, they get used to it. When you're doing that, though, and, and obviously nothing against your kids, but here you are, you're looking for bigger success. And, you know, when you're doing that, when you're trying to make the jump, I mean, you, you guys, you know, you're on a great uh, record label with Saddle Creek and everything. How much does that factor into it when you're saying all these bands can do this to make our careers happen? Can we? You know, I, I think it's kind of like we'd like to get as far as we can get the way we can get there. I think more than like looking at what other bands are doing, we just, we do the things that we can do and if there's something that we really want to do, we try to make it happen. Obviously, you can come to South by Southwest. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and there's also a, a nice little thing you guys talk about with, uh, you do most of your songwriting after the kids go to bed? Yes. Yeah. See, I have this image in my head, like a normal family, the kid walks in and sees their parents having sex. <laughs> you guys, the kids walk in and they see you guys baby, writing yeah. songs. And they're like, no, put the guitar yeah, they don't like it's it. Scarred forever. <laughs> it is. It's gonna be. It's gonna, It's always gonna be there too. Yeah. Uh, Mommy and Daddy were harmonizing. <laughs> How do you do with that? What kind of therapy goes into that? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure that they're ruined. <laughs> uh, you're already writing new songs, too. Yeah. Like, there, there's your, your second record's out, but you guys are already working on the next one. Yeah, yeah I think be, because we live together and everything, it, it's kind of like, like band practice never completely stops. Yeah. I mean, we're always kind of talking about new, new ideas. And... Yeah, we write, like, in the car a lot. Like, but, you know, not with the instruments. We just communicate about it, I guess. But, but I guess that's the question, too. Is that there's no off switch when you're married to your bandmate? There's no. not at all. Yeah. Zero. And it doesn't ever get. I mean, because once again, this is what you do. Yeah. But there's never a point where you're going, oh, I don't want to do a song today. Oh, no, we do. Yeah. And we walk away. One of us, if we're working in our garage and we're like maybe getting a little frustrated, one of like, I'm going to go inside for yeah. take a little breather. Come back later. Yeah, we just kind of try to. It's it's fun 90% of the time, and then 10% of the time that it stops being fun, we just kind of... We just don't do it, let's, yeah. Let's do this another time. <laughs> well, if you can make the great balance, and apparently you have, because once again, Chain Letters is amazing oh, through thanks. and through. You guys have done something thanks really special.